Unit 4. Emotional Well-Being. 4D Listening and Speaking. Listen to a psychologist talking about some strategies to deal with stress and number the strategies that you hear. Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm here to tell you about some strategies to deal with stress. You probably know that stress is considered to be the disease of the 21st century. According to a recent study, about 86% of the world's population have experienced stress at some time in their lives. Major life-changing events such as moving house, marriage or the death of a loved one may bring about stress. Not getting enough sleep for a long time or working hours can also cause high levels of stress. Now we will look at the effects of stress. Stress can cause emotional problems and can lead to depression. Stress can also affect us physically. We can put on or lose weight over a short period of time. As a result of high levels of stress, we may suffer from headaches, stomach aches, insomnia and even heart disease. Well, basically, when people feel stressed out, they don't know what to do with their stress. They don't deal with it very well. But we have a number of strategies to deal with our stress. Let us start with the first one mindfulness. Mindfulness is paying careful attention to what's happening right now. It helps us to find the right way to manage the ups and downs of our emotions. It also helps to clear the mind and reduce tension. Just as we can build muscles through regular exercise, we can develop a sense of emotional well-being through mindfulness. There's another strategy laughter. It is often said that laughter is the best medicine. Well, if people laugh about something, they feel better. When you laugh, your body produces chemical, and these chemicals make you feel happier. And they also make you feel less pain. So, in Marni countries, for example, doctors use laughter as a strategy in hospitals. A group of people go around the hospital, visiting the patients, and basically, they make them laugh by telling them jokes or doing something funny. It really works. People feel better afterwards, and they don't need medicine. Another strategy I'd like to talk about is taking regular exercise. To reduce stress, we should start off exercising three or four times a week. Walking, cycling and swimming are good ways of exercising. People who exercise regularly are less likely to suffer from heart disease, diabetes, stroke and some cancers. We will live longer and be healthier by exercising regularly. The last strategy I'd like to recommend is keeping a mood journal. This means writing down your feelings and your responses to them. It can help you uncover some disruptive patterns. Keep your journal with you and jot down your intense emotions or feelings as they happen. This is really a useful strategy to reduce stress.